fucking retarded line from Michael Cole. JBL is saying that, you know, trying to credit Jamie Noble and Joey Mercury. He says Joey Mercury won the tag titles three times. Jamie Noble, a former cruiserweight champion. And then Michael Cole says, oh, well, you know, JBL, that was, uh, that was years ago. You know, they can't get it done now. What the fuck about Kane? Jamie Noble's like, what, 39, 40 years old, baby? <laughs> yeah, that's the brand rules. This dude is hilarious. Anyway, what's going on in America? It's your boy Jay Nova, and welcome back to J-Town Reactions. Um, this is the uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate official gameplay walkthrough reaction. Um, a couple months ago, I addressed new Assassin's Creed. Uh, it was a rumor. It was never. It was never. Never confirmed. Uh, the original name was Assassin's Creed Victory, but they changed it to Syndicate. Um, but I'm curious how this game might turn out because Unity wasn't that good. Unity was actually ass for real, for real. I mean, it wasn't worse than uh, Assassin's Creed 3 with, De I mean, with Connor. You know, Connor was just fucking boring. You know, the voice acting sucked ass. Just like Adam Pearce from Watch Dogs. That's why that game was ass. And they coming up with Watch Dogs too. Who the fuck gonna play that? Anyway, um, the main protagonist was Syndicate. His name is Jacob. So, yeah. I mean, that name is a lot more reasonable than Arno. Arno is a gay ass name. But he was banging Elise. So I give him credit for that. <laughs> and Elise was fine as hell. <laughs> God damn. And that thug life moment she had at the end of the game shot dude in the face. Bro. I mean, there were some good mo good moments in the game, but the game still has. Anywho. I want to do my reaction to this gameplay. Uh, they got some new... Um, they added some new shit to the game. You know, carriages and zip lines and shit like that. So this is kind of like Batman in a way. You know, with the zip line and shit. Um, you can climb up the buildings a lot faster. Um, and not slow as hell like on Unity. Um, I hope I hope they fix the combat system because the combat system on Unity was fucking bullshit. You couldn't block whatsoever. You had some kind of parry bullshit. Like what the fuck is parry? You couldn't you couldn't have the the block and counter button like on Black Flag? Come on now, that's some bullshit. It's like they try to it's like they try to make the shit realistic. Try, don't make video games realistic. They do not need to be you know similar to real life. You know, especially G, especially GTA. GTA five should not GTA in general should not be realistic at all. GTA is a satire game. You know what I'm saying? And you know why I say satire, you know, everything is just comedy. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's a lot of drama and action in GTA, the majority of the game is comedy. Satire. That's why I said it's not supposed to be realistic at all. You know what I'm saying? Like San Andreas. That's satire. The whole goddamn game is funny as hell. And there's a lot of things in the game that piss you off, but it's not realistic. I mean, the game is based on 1992, but still. The whole thing is just comedy. Ain't none of this shit actually happened. Over here. Anyway, as soon as I start this video, I will butt in a few times, but I'm not going to talk too much. All right? um, I'm going to address some of, the, some of the new, you know, abilities and shit, abilities and controls and shit like that. Um, I'm also going to address that eagle vision once we get to that. So, yeah, I hope they enhanced it. And, uh, and apparently the eagle vision is still time, like I'm using it. Which is ass, and hopefully, did hopefully Syndicate is better than Unity. Hopefully, they worked on the storyline, cause you be so fucked up with you. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully they they got their head out of their ass, and they completely killed Desmond off the off the series, man. That 
Baby Man. That's one of my favorite characters. One of the coolest characters. Because he didn't even wear everything that everybody had. Desmond wore his own thing. You know, he wore... He wore the Assassin's Creed sweatshirt and he wore the jeans. So that game was like kind of, you know, more modern. Somewhat. Based on the character models that I've seen. I, ne I never actually played the game, but I've seen gameplay. So, yeah. He didn't have like the full suit on. He just had like half a suit and some kind of pants on. I wouldn't say jeans. I don't think jeans was made back then. Anyway, let's get this shit going. We got no time to waste. Peggy 18. My name is Marc-Alex Cicote, creative director of Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and here is your first look at our game. It's reckless. It's clever. The blighters control every criminal enterprise in the city. If they work for us... Yes, but they work for the Templars. And are they paid off by the Templars? Slight difference. If we take control of the gangs, we take control of London from the bottom up. You are talking about building yourself an army. Miss Fry, tell him this is complete madness. You need to consolidate your control. I can keep the rival gangs and the police from sweeping in and seizing the territory. You can't very well send Bloody Nora an engraved invitation. We have no idea where they hold up. Yeah, we do. You found them? The Glatties are operating out of the rookery. Bloody Nora will be there. Good work, Clara. Tremendous work. Jacob, can't talk now, Henry. Duty calls. To your health. Apologies, Mr. Green. So you don't all these kids in these games nowadays, though. We are now in the city of London, one of the seven boroughs that you'll experience in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. The city of London was the economic and financial heart of London in the 19th century. The borough fully embodies the hustle and bustle spirit associated with Victorian London. Booming businesses, busy sidewalks, and even busier streets. New to our game are iconic modes of transportation, including trains and carriages. Omnipresent in Victorian London, carriages will change how you play Assassin's Creed. You can take the reins and traverse the city faster than ever before. You can also hide in them, adding another tool to your stealth game, or run over targets and enemies. The possibilities are endless. In this... Now, the thing about the stealth, um, the stealth in, in uh, Unity was ass. The reason why is because they, they took a couple things out of Black Flag. Because on Black Flag, when you get wherever you are, it doesn't matter where you are. You can be in a haystack. You, yeah. You can be in a haystack. God damn. Hey, too much of that. She got him out the hell up. But you can hide in a haystack. You can hide, you know, like little rooms and shit. Like, you know those little big ass things or small ass things with the little flaps right there? You can like hide right inside of it. I forgot what those are called. Uh, you can also hide in tall grass areas. You know what I'm saying? Hide in bushes and shit like that. And you can whistle to attract the enemies. Not on Unity. On Unity, you can't do shit. They just gotta be close. For you to kill them like that, man. And this... This is bullshit to me, man. They need to change that. I hope they added the whistling back in. Man. If they didn't, then this game might be ass too. Who knows? Mission. Jacob wants to take over one of the Templars' control gangs in order to build an army against the Templars that run the city. To do so, he will need to conquer the borough by dislodging the enemy gang from their stronghold. Not unlike big cities today, rich and poor share the same environment. Even the richest neighborhood, like Westminster, had areas where the police would not dare set foot. These slums were where street gangs ruled. With the simple push of a button, we'll activate stealth mode as we are entering enemy-controlled territory. Also new to our game, the rope launcher will change the way you navigate throughout the city. With this new tool, you can climb the highest building in seconds, or a zip line from rooftop to rooftop. See how fast you climb? I like that zip line up there. Very Batman like. Let's trigger Eagle Vision to study our surroundings. And Eagle Vision is not timed, I don't think. I mean, I think it is time. It, it shouldn't be time, but no, it ain't time. 
Yeah, it is time. I'm tripping. I'm tell. Oh, shit. Oh, you can kill him from the zip line now. Oh, hell yeah. We can see that one of our allies is in trouble. Let's give him a hand. We first need to eliminate the lookout to make sure he doesn't call reinforcements. The throwing knives will take him out silently. Throwing knives? Oh, they had new weapons in the game. I like that. And I still got that. The uh, air assassination techniques. Still look the same. Some of the attacks still look the same. We are facing a lot of enemies, so the head first approach is probably not a good idea. Also new to our game is the ability to use the environment to take out your enemies. Oh yes, I like that. Finally, finally, you can use the environment to kill your fucking enemies. About damn time. I've been waiting for that for the longest, yeah. And I'm not talking about stealth kills, you know, from haystack. Another one of our allies is in trouble. Let's take care of this before it's too late for him. They added the whistling back. Thank you, Ubisoft. Thank you. Now you ain't fucking up. Now I believe that Syndicate will be ten times better than you. Oh, man. And the whistling don't even sound the same anymore. What's in That whistling in black flag. Now that our ally is free, we'll ask him to assist us in our fight for this slum. Here is the strong old leader, highlighted in yellow. Let's try to take him out with stealth, as he is more dangerous than common thugs. We'll use the hallucinogenic darts to turn our enemies against one another. I like how you can, you know, how you can save allies and get them on your team. That's very black flag ish. Because on black flag, you can. Help out other pirates that's being tormented and then they're getting killed by, uh, I was about to say extremists, but by guards and shit like that. And you, you know, you can just get them, you know, on your team. So that's pretty cool how they've taken up, I mean, how they've taken things from the old Assassin's Creed. I like that. They're taking things from the old Assassin's Creed and then they're adding their own shit. You know, the throwing eyes, I like that. Um, I'm glad they added the whistling back. Um, Because taking taking away the whistling from Unity just took away from the whole point of being a stealth mode. Whistling is key to lure your fucking to lure your fucking enemy. Instead of whistling, they put cherry bombs, which was fucking stupid. Cherry bombs ain't do shit. <laughs> Cause I still got busted with them goddamn cherry bombs, but uh. I like the, I like the throwing eyes. I like that you can kill your opponent with the with the environment. You know anything that's hanging above or things you can pick up and throw at them, shit like that. I love that. I like the zip line, very Batman-ish. So they're doing like old school and modern in the same game. I like that. I like that. Now you just saw the back in the game. Damn, new combat system I see. Thumbs up, double thumbs up. That shit was fast too. Cause the combat system on Unity was fucking slow as hell. All the shit to fight on there. I kept dying a few times every time I got in the fight. Bullshit, man. Then he always blocking shit. Should be adding new guns in the game. Too. Oh, <laughs> 
God damn. I ain't even gonna ask them to still loot people. I know, I know you can. Why would they take that out? Okay, you got temple our missions. This slum is now one, and your gang occupies the territory. Well, well. The assassins have come crawling out of their holes, have they? Damn it, boys! Deal with this! We were caught in a trap orchestrated by Bloody Nora, one of the seven Templar gang leaders. Her rule of the borough has been one of cruelty and suffering. We need to take her out once and for all. Dang. <laughs> Ray writes the shit out of that bitch. <laughs> God damn it. I, yo, I love that you can run over people with the carriages, yo. I love that shit. <laughs> yo, I can't wait to chase money. I, I can't wait to chase plays this game, man. Wampo is gonna be funny as hell. I might do a Wampo this when I get it. I probably won't get into like. I probably won't get into Christmas. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I might wear. Out. Yeah, I might wear out and get into Christmas. Um, so yeah, back. Yeah, this Christmas will be my last Christmas in this house. I'll be gone after that. Probably sometime after my birthday. I'm in the summertime. I don't know. I'm going to be moving out soon. I'm going to be working. Making a lot of money. I want to make enough money so I can get my wrestling gear. And then, because I want to get the wrestling gear down. I, mean, I want to get the wrestling gear first. And then I'll uh, get a gym membership and do my thing. I don't want to get a gym membership first and end up wasting money and not being able to pay for my wrestling gear. So. Yeah. You to too? Get the Bloody Norris thugs are trying to make sure you don't get to her, ramming our carriage to kill her. Our carriage is taking some damage but seems to be holding up. You know, those people that's trying to that's trying to get him from catching that person, that reminds me of GTA 5 cops, like they spawn in different areas. That's one thing I'm not looking forward to. But then again, like they driving slow as hell. So. We made it to the gang wall, an all-out confrontation between your gang and your rival for the ultimate control of the borough. Jacob feels right at home in these fights, thanks to our new fighting system, as it is faster and more responsive than ever before. This is back during them times when fighting bitches is okay. You put your hands on the bitch and get away with it. You can beat the shit out of a female. Nowadays, they press charges and shit. Ladies and gentlemen, we are Jacob and Evie Fry. And as of this moment, you all work for us. Right, who is he, the Middle East? <laughs> I can't wait till this game comes, yo. Yo, I can't wait till this game comes out, yo. Oh, man. Who the hell gets DVD rounds for the PC? You buy that shit distant. What the fuck do need a DVD round for? I'm getting this shit on PS4. Bars, yo. Oh, man. I can't wait till this shit comes up. Oh. I'm gonna get this for Christmas because I ain't really got no money right now. Freedom ripped me off. I was supposed to have. I don't know how much I was supposed to have in my, in my PayPal wallet, but they paid me 80 cents. <laughs> That's fucked up. But, 
They only and they ain't supposed to pay me for two two whole months, but they only pay me for one, which is bullshit. They pay me for for uh, no, they weren't supposed to pay me for February. They pay me for March, but they didn't pay me for April, which is kind of bullshit. So yeah. Anyway, yeah, I can't wait till this game comes out. Um, let me know what y'all thought about this gameplay and uh. Look at that right there, man. Look at that. Now, that's an Assassin's Creed poster. I like that shit. And they made they made this game more modern. You know, a little bit of old school, but more modern. Um, well, actually, not a little bit of both. Like, it's somewhere in the middle. Um, and this is around the same time as the Red Dead series. You know, I wouldn't say uh, Red Dead Revolver. I say more like Red Dead Redemption. Kind of. You know, guns are kind of the same. Uh, combat is kind of the same. You know, the Red Dead Redemption takes place in a different city. So, or a different country, right? Anyway, I'll wrap this video up. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm do some Vine Cops. So, uh, yeah, I'm doing a whole lot more reactions. Um, but later on, I'll do some more uh, Max Payne. So, yeah. By the time I get to the 10th episode, I'll start recording the fights. I'm going to start that over. Anyway, I'm at this bitch. Peace. Sorry for the long episode. <laughs>